hey y'all my name is ebony i'm the ceo of ebony's mobile notary the founder of 757 notary sisters the owner operator of boss events what's up y'all it is saturday october the 14th of 2023 it's like eight o'clock in the morning and no i'm not on the balcony i'm actually in the car but i'm not driving yet um i'm gonna share some things we're just gonna give Maybe a mid-month update, give y'all some tips and tricks. I don't know where this video is going, but I just know I need to put out my content. They say if you post consistently, keep going. So that is what we are on. And maybe that'll be about it, about being consistent. Um, most of us that are watching, you're a notary, you want to be a notary, maybe you're a wedding officiant, maybe you want to be a wedding officiant, and you know that's what my channel is kind of tailored to, is about business and things like that. Um, these first, what we in first two weeks of Q4, I can't complain. It's been really, really good. I cannot complain. That consistency, that hard work, everything is paying off the way it should be. Um, if you're in my Facebook group and you're new, that Faust tab, there is resources there, y'all. If y'all want to really grow and stretch and learn in your notary, um, experience and you're like you don't want to pay no money go to the files tab figure that shit out um, I put all types of resources in there for free you got this YouTube channel for free you got so much information out here for free if you don't want to pay and you just have to figure it out now if you do want to pay you know that I offer stuff I offer one-on-one -on -one help for $55 I offer these workshops for $37 and every month it's the same thing like today is basically the last day to get the marketing class and I'm gonna close off the link and I'm gonna have a flood of people that's gonna say oh I meant to sign up well oh well um because I'll be running that shit for like six weeks I already put out November's dates and I still got when is November's the dates that I put out a newsletter but we're not going to ramble on that because guess what? My business is booked and busy because I'm consistent, because I'm learning, I'm feeding myself everything that I need to feed myself to make sure that I'm learning and growing and stretching within business, right? And I want you to as well, but a lot of people are not consistent. A lot of people, they always say, Ebony, how do you handle time management? I tell you, weekly goals, I write them down. My daily task list i got to have it other than that i'll be all over the place if i don't write this shit down i would be all over the place baby we got calendars we got little pieces of paper i have to know what i'm doing i can't deviate from that i gotta do what i gotta do when i gotta do it right <laughs> so that is what i'm doing um this weekend, I am at the Marriott all weekend long on the oceanfront for people with their timeshares. They're either upgrading, leaving, or getting a new one. And I'm the notary for that. And it's like a 10, 12 hour event every single day. They're paying me hourly a coin. Um, and I just notarize the documents. They buy my lunch, we get parking. It's been beautiful. What is on my face? Uh, y'all, y'all know y'all gotta work with me. I'm working on these eyelashes. I can't never get them on the same way. Like I like this one, I don't like this one. But it's all good. We're gonna keep being consistent. We're gonna keep putting on these eyelashes until I get it. Right. But needless to say, that has been very, very good. That's been, it's been not boring, but it gave me another time to be like, okay, I still needed to update a lot of people for as my information and my credentials you know like i went back to you know i signed up for signing services every day so i went back to closing exchange signature closures it was like a few that i had not updated in a while so i was doing that in between the notary appointments and that was good um i was able to make sure that like my welcome package was legit um snap docs was saying something like they couldn't 
um, update my credentials because my name and my insurance didn't match. But what it was is that my insurance is in Ebony's Mobile Notary and my Snapdocs profile had my first and last name. So just doing little ends and odds. I was tightening up all of those things, but they had been on my list to do. So weekly goals, daily task list. And that's how I'm getting it done. That's how I'm getting it done. Then I had two weddings yesterday that um, I put it on my TikTok. So if you follow me on TikTok, you'll see those two weddings. That was good. One was at the beach and I was already at the ocean front. So it was an easy transition to leave from the Marriott, go to the beach. And then the other one was in Virginia Beach. So it wasn't far from each other cool done that i'm gonna drop off their marriage licenses today um in my travels again that's why i'm in my car so early before i have another day at the marriott and then i'm back there again tomorrow and then tomorrow evening i am renting out my 360 photo booth at um this girl's wedding at the chrysler museum so all of these things owning my own business this weekend alone will bring me over $3,000 just from the Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So we're not even talking about the Monday through Thursday that I also had signings. I had general notary work. I didn't have no weddings during the weekday this week, but sometimes I do. But I definitely had signings. I had general notary work. I had direct work. I had signings through signing services. The whole nine yards. So it was regular entrepreneurial. Am I saying that right? Entrepreneurial things that I was able to do to make my bag. I be trying to tell y'all how to make y'all bag too, but y'all have ears. Um, get the training that you need. Understand what a notary is get right your why make sure you are clear that you can even do this job okay i uh, always talk about that right your why and making sure that this is something clear that you can actually do right always saying that so that's what's going on over here the next few weeks again we still booked and busy next week i got a wedding next week i got a 360 um, this week here, I need to, I was going to pick up a nurse shift because y'all know I'm also a nurse, but I decided not to because there are some other things that I need to do, um, on my back end. Like I need to take my car in my car. I desperately need tires, a tune up or oil change. You know, that's going to be like an all day affair. I, I got to get an inspection sticker. So I need to do things like that. Um, I, I did switch out my clothes from the summer to the fall, but I don't have no fall clothes. So I might need to hit up some of these stores and figure out what I'm doing. Cause I be in the Walmart in my onesie in the morning, scrambling, trying to find me something to wear that's weather appropriate. And I'm pretty sure everybody's tired of my favorite jean jacket, but this is my favorite one. I got some traveling to do. So I need to just, you know, I kind of got to get my shit together. I'm going to be speaking next month at a couple of places and I don't have what I'm speaking about. I have to get my shit together because I've just been in the streets. So I want to take this week and kind of just focus on that. I do have a signing with a guy. They're selling the property. He's in the military. Husband's in Japan. Wife is here. He's meeting with a federal notary over there. They're going to overnight the documents to my personal home. I'm going to go meet with the wife. I'm going to scan those documents back, and then I'm going to ship them overnight to title. How did they find me? Google. Google. I just dropped a gem about Google and how to increase that SEO in that Facebook group. Go back and watch that live. Just drop that gem. Um, we're having the marketing your mobile notary business on the 17th. That's going to be amazing. I'm telling you all my tips and tricks that I use to market my business. I'm breaking down what SEO is and the importance of SEO and why I do what I do. So that I, I can continue to get this business. It's so funny when I meet people. I just met this guy recently 
and you know we was messing around and he was like oh yeah you ain't nobody or whatever i was like baby you better google me and so you know i guess he he decided he was gonna google my first name he <laughs> yeah let's go what you want to do sir sir but he was really really cute so we had went out but that's nor here nor there. Then I found out he a little boring old man too. I guess I'm at this age where that's all I be meeting is these little boring old men. But um, it's all good. It's all good. But it was just, it was crazy how you can do your SEO. And that's what you want. You want your business to show up. And that's what that marketing class is going to be all about. But last day to purchase tickets is probably after you're watching this video. So you're probably not going to be in it. Because, yeah, the link going to be off tomorrow. Because, again, I told you, I got shit to do. So, I got to get all the documents prepared. I got to have a class ready for the class. So, <laughs> hopefully you got your tickets. Because um, I only marketed for like six weeks. And, like I said, $37 is not bad. We had that wedding officiant class the other day, baby. It was lit. We had so much fun. I'm so happy I was help able to help people start their career in wedding officiant with so many people that said oh i wanted to do it i just didn't know how you made it so much easier again if you missed it you missed it the dates for november are in that facebook group i'll start rolling it out and on youtube or whatever on tiktok wherever i put promoted at so that you can get into it i love doing these weddings they don't take long and you get the bag they don't take long and you get the bag so I love doing them. I'm going to keep doing them. And yeah, life is going to life, right? So again, if you are looking to get started in your business, especially as a notary, first go and figure out what a notary public is. Get some education. Get, excuse me, some training. Um, write your why. Write a business plan. Write a budget. Like, until you do that, don't do nothing else. Do that. Like, everybody is always trying to skip around that. Do that. And then figure it out from there. You're not going to know everything, but you at least need to know what a notary is. You at least need to know what you're investing into. You at least need to know what kind of time is this going to take from my life for me to do this job. You need to know the basics. And then you gotta figure out, do I even have money for this? Like, you gotta figure that part out. You gotta figure that part out. And go from there. And maybe the notary thing ain't for you. Maybe you wanna do weddings. Figure out your state laws in your, in your state. I'll tell anybody, Virginia is not that easy to become a wedding officiant. You gotta be appointed by the courts. North Carolina is not that easy, but I got a guy that will ordain you for North Carolina. If you're already a notary, there are seven states that you became a wedding officiant when you got your notary commission. For the rest of you, American Ministries, ULC. There go the information. Apply it since you don't wanna take, you know, my course take somebody's course so many people offer wedding officiant training so many people i have seen courses for thousands and thousands of dollars mine is 37 dollars. so go take someone's course if you're not going to take mine learn how to be a wedding officiant learn marketing how to market that business and get your bag you want to do the photo booth thing it's heavy that mother is heavy but is it lucrative yes but it's heavy. So many Facebook groups on photo booth. So many Facebook groups. So you can buy these photo booths. I got two. I got a 360 and I got a digital one. And they book. They book. But it's heavy. Heavy is what I'm trying to tell you. Like, don't let nobody ever say you didn't know that this booth was heavy. The damn booth weighs almost 200 pounds. And then you know everywhere got to step. You got to step. Like when I go to the Chrysler Museum tomorrow, it's like four steps. 
but they do got a dolly for me and i'm pretty sure i'm gonna find a man that's gonna help me up those little four steps not worried about it but that thing is heavy so if you got arthritis bad knees i don't suggest this it's not as easy as it as it seems because it's heavy and you need to know how to work canva a lot of people say i don't know how to make an overlay you want to have a good overlay like my overlays are so nice my overlays are so nice and that's what my selling point on my photo booth is the overlay so you got to know how to do that so if you like i don't know how to work canva then you're gonna have a trashy event people not gonna rehire you um know your worth know your price i have no problem turning down a photo booth deal my price is my price i'll tell anybody my price for my 360 booth is 175 per hour you have to rent three hours minimum there are people out here that's written out 360s for 75 dollars an hour 100 dollars an hour go with them go with them because baby number one the booth is heavy number two I put my booth in a storage. My booth has its own apartment, a heated control apartment. Number three, the software has expenses. You see what I'm saying? You gotta make sure you do your research before you get to pricing or trying to, oh, well, I'm gonna do mine for a hundred and I'm gonna have to, go ahead, you'll find out when you ain't making no money. But I did get return on my investment on my booth and I don't care if my booth don't never book, but guess what it do? It books. You wanna know why? Good customer service. A great experience my marketing and my SEO is amazing when they come to my website when they see my past work they hire me they don't mind paying for it so that's on that like I said right now I'm getting ready to go over there to the storage booth to get my ring light so I can charge it up for the event tomorrow because I'm getting ready to head over to the Marriott for the day to do the notary thing. Whose life is set up like that? Like really be realistic and think about it. I don't know what your situation is, but could you have left your house on Friday at 9.30 in the morning and come home at 10 o'clock at night? Leave your house again on Saturday, 8.30 in the morning and know that you're not coming back until 10 o'clock at night. Leave your house on Sunday at 9.30 in the morning and know that you're not coming back until midnight. That's what I'm doing. Is that realistic for you? Because that's what a weekend looks like for me when I'm booked and busy like this. Is that realistic? But you got to remember, I don't have small children. I don't have my daughter's 21. Right next to me is a 2021 Nissan Sentra that can take her anywhere upstairs. There's Well, actually, I did bring her back some food last night. But she can get her own food. She can do her own thing. I don't have little nieces, nephews. I don't have a mom, a dad. So me being gone all weekend long means nothing. Are you set up like that? Because a lot of people say, oh, well, I work a job. Could you have worked your nine to five all week long, done whatever you had to do, and then been booked and busy this whole entire weekend? Is that something that would work out for your life? Figure that part out. And yeah, that's what I got. So again, I'm here, Facebook group, links is below for any help that you need. I'm doing the notary thing. I do general notary work, loan signings, apostilles, all types of notary. Um, I'm a wedding officiant for the state of Virginia. I do weddings all month long. I got a 360 photo booth. I got a digital selfie iPad photo booth. And I'm a nurse. So get your bag by the best means necessary. I'm here to help if you need it. And if not, high five to all the people who I have helped and is out here getting that bag I can definitely tell you Sharon is out here getting that bag Ebony is out here getting that bag Brianna is out here getting that bag Amitri is out here getting that bag it's so many people that I can name that is out here getting that bag and they circle back and they be like Ebony damn I did what you said and the shit worked I well I be damned so do you have a happy Saturday y'all 
let me hit my storage.